I still have 10 inches of snow on my front lawn, but you know what? I am ready for some flowers and for some beautiful, fresh spring colors. Hi everyone, I'm Jana Eubank, and today I am working with the Pink Fresh Studio Flower Market Collection. I recently picked up this collection because I love the colors. I'm just ready for some bright, fresh florals, and you know what? Let's be honest, florals are always the answer, right? <laughs> okay, so I decided to do these pictures of my daughter with her glasses where she went for her eye exam and to get fitted for her glasses because of the glasses paper that you see in the back there. They, I just knew that I had to fussy cut those out and that I would be using them as a page accent. So my idea was to start with this border paper that you see there, the green one with the blue florals and the pink border. I, my idea was to start with that as the background and so I was just looking for some pattern paper to complement that. I went for this blush daisies paper because um, I wanted to repeat that light pink color in the center of the page. I don't actually end up using that background paper, but it was a great way to get started on this layout. Now I went ahead and matted my photos with some blue glitter paper that I happened to have on my desk. I had pulled that out a few, like a week ago to work on another layout, but I didn't end up using it. However, the blue matched this, um, these products perfectly. And I also thought that the fun glittery texture was a fun way to bring in something different and to shake things up a bit. So I'm excited about that. So I'm just getting my papers in place and now I'm deciding if I really do want to use a color to background. I love color. I love pattern. I mostly go for pattern papers in my backgrounds and I'm deciding to switch gears here from the border paper that I initially showed you over to this blue and green houndstooth. If you've seen the sneak peek of my page, you know I don't end up using this as the background either. In fact, you can see I'm still kind of trying to decide, but I do end up using it as a layer. And so I love when the products speak to you and just guide you through the process. So I'm just gonna keep following my heart and you'll see that how everything unfolds as we keep going. Now this yellow floral paper was is one of my absolute favorites from this collection and I knew I needed to add a strip to this page. I just love the brightness, it just lifts everything. My idea was to put it behind the photo block, however it was blocking too much of that beautiful pattern so I'm going to overlap it on top of the blush daisy pattern so that you can see more of the yellow and more of those cute little wallpaper flower patterns. Here I'm pulling out the glasses paper that actually inspired this entire layout and the subject for my layout and I'm just selecting a few pairs of eyeglasses to use as accents and I'm going to fussy cut those here. Now I have all a lot of us in my family do wear glasses and these this is actually the second time my daughter had to be fitted for glasses so which she wasn't excited about honestly she actually didn't tell us for a really long time that she couldn't see the board at school and I think that's because she had to wear glasses back when she was in kindergarten slash first grade when she was starting to learn to read. Her eyes just weren't mature enough back then so she needed a little help. She eventually grew out of it and I'm not sure if she got teased back then or what but she was really hesitant to have to wear glasses again. It probably is more of a convenience factor for her because I still at, at her age have a hard time getting her to wear her glasses. Um, anyway, so here she is getting fitted for glasses again in junior high and she's not thrilled about it. She, t You'll read in my journaling, if you do read it, that she didn't tell us because she was just squinting and trying to make do without having to tell us, but that's okay. All right, so we, I fussy cut out a couple of those glasses there that I'm going to position below the main photo, and then I love this little stripe pattern, so I brought that in and added it to the top of the yellow strip. I took everything over to my sewing machine and added a running stitch around the photo block and then a zigzag stitch around or across the bottom of that striped pattern paper. I want to add some distressing so I'm just using a spatula to lift up the edges around the sewed piece and then I'm going sewn piece and I'm going to bring in my uh, distressing tool and just add some texture along all the edges of that photo block. Now I think I'm getting closer to starting to uh, put my page together and I've switched over to this bright white linen cardstock background. Like I mentioned before, I love pattern paper, I love to layer, and so I usually use a colored cardstock. However, I knew I wanted to use a lot of these beautiful patterns, and so the white cardstock is really gonna help those layered patterns to shine, and I just love it. Now, 
this beautiful little sweet floral. I'm going to add a couple of blocks of this just layered behind the top right and lower left corners of my photo block. Actually to just punctuate where the photos are going to be placed on that photo block. So my title is going to be on the upper left corner. Again, I have the main photo on the upper right corner and then the other two photos in the lower left corner. So I like how that floral pa paper, even though not a lot of it is showing, just calls attention to those photos and makes them feel important. Okay, so we'll just take a minute to get those all layered up and that will be the background or the basis of this page and we'll start looking into the embellishments. Now one thing I'll notice in a minute is that as I pulled everything off to add these layers back in, I placed my photos on top of each other. <laughs> and so when I pulled them apart, it ripped the ink off of that larger photo. So I'm gonna have to take that, go back to my office and reprint that larger photo here. So I'll show you that in a minute. Thankfully, I hadn't placed a ton of adhesive on that glitter paper, which I usually do because things don't stick well to glitter paper, right? But I was able to just peel that main photo off and just replace Place it right here. So here we go. We're starting to get our base in place and then it's time to start embellishing. I'm first going to pull out the cardstock die cuts. Again, I'm just placing, I know those, um, I'm starting with what I know, which is I know those eyeglasses are gonna go below that main photo. And then now I'm going to just sift through the cardstock die cuts and look for things to accent or look for phrases that will work. Now, because I love the florals, I know I'm gonna go for the florals. So I'm looking for those kinds of pieces and I'm just looking for anything else that's going to call out my name. Now, there weren't a ton of florals in the main uh, cardstock pack. So I just grab a couple of these brands that I thought would look cute up by the title and then in a minute I'm going to switch over to the floral die cuts because you know I love my flowers. I also find this orange happy day phrase while I'm in there so I thought that looked cute next to the blue and green glasses. So again when I don't know where to start I start with what I know and I know that I want to put my title up here in the upper left corner. I really wanted a longer title. I wanted to use the title that says I can see clearly now kind of like the song. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just had to do it, but it didn't fit. It was too long. So I went back to my little trusty title idea books and found a different title and I'm going to use the words perfect vision. Uh, I like this title because the two words are similar in size and length to one another so they fit together great in that small spot. Okay, so now I've got the flower die cuts out and because I have that orange happy day phrase over by the glasses, I know I wanna add some orange up by the title. So I find this orange mum type or dahlia type uh, flower and now I'm just sifting through these to see what else might stand out. So I'm gonna start pulling out orange pieces. I look for, there's another leaf that I can balance the leaves. Uh, that are up by the title. So I have a few leaf branches by the title. I have a few over on the right hand side of the page. And then I also found those trumpet flowers. I think that's what those are called. I don't know all the flower names, but anyway, those orange flowers to go over by the glasses. So now I'm just sifting through and I want to, I want to um, add more to that uh, orange flower at the top by the title. And so I think I'm going to add in some blue. And so I'm just now going back through the flowers again to find all the little tiny blue flowers to see what might look great up there. I'm looking for a flower that is smaller in scale to the orange one and also in the color. So that, that one I pulled out a minute ago had two dark of green leaves. Some of them just felt overwhelming and overshadowing to that orange flower. So I like the one that's sitting there, but I almost, I end up going with the tiny one that I pulled out a second ago, and here it is. It's a trio of these tiny blue flowers, and I like that one because it has a series of little leaf sprigs, so it just adds a different um, size and scale to the leaves as well. But I'm going to keep working with the other little blue flowers that I pulled out before, and I'm gonna add those in other spots around the page. So I just have those sitting to the side, and since I know I, that I like this cluster by the happy days and the glasses. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, adhere all of that with some foam tape and I will also adhere the leaves and flowers up by the title. Now one thing that I didn't show on camera here is that when you have things layered on top of one another like that, 
you can um, just adhere the bottom part of it flat to the page with some tape adhesive and then just tuck a little bit of foam tape underneath the tips of the leaves or the tips of the flowers and that adds some dimension but not a ton of bulk. Now I'm back through the main cardstock die cuts looking for something to go in that space above my title and I find this orange phrase that says the best day and it fits perfectly. So even though I already have something that says happy day, I'm still going to put the best day. In fact, most of the phrases in this collection happen to ha say things like the best day, happy day, a special day. <laughs> and so unfortunately it's a bit redundant, but I'm just looking for colors and shapes and I don't care. I don't look at those details too closely. And honestly, I'm too lazy to go make my own little phrase pieces. So I'm just going to roll with what I have in this collection. So I added those three tiny flowers up by the best day to accent that. And now I'm looking for some flowers or some word phrases to go down in the lower left corner. You can see I also added a olive leaf branch over by the happy day. And that's just to balance out the olive leaf branch that's up by the title, just to keep the colors consistent and balance things out. So I had, I had selected this blue, a special day banner. Again, it's a special day, a happy day, a best day. Like this is just the best day ever, I guess. <laughs> it really wasn't, but the colors and shapes worked. So that's what I'm going with there. I had the, the camera pulled out thinking I would add that, but it just didn't work. Um, it worked because it was a selfie, but the shape just didn't work with the overall layout. So I'm going back to the floral die cuts and I'm just finding a few more pieces that I can layer together. So now I have flowers in all of my clusters and um, I have a phrase that says a special day in all of my clusters because this just was a special day. No, <laughs> I'm joking, obviously. Okay, so I'm fine with this and I'm ready to start adding additional details. I pulled out my clay studio calico mist. This is one I love, I love, love. They don't even sell it anymore, but I love it because it's a warm French gray. It's not quite black. It's not quite it's not a cool gray. It just adds a bit of warmth and just the perfect amount of splatters on a nice bright page like this. So I used a lot. Okay. So I'm just looking at this overall to see what else I might want to add. I run over to my computer and I create my journaling on print it out on vellum so that I can place it below in the bottom right corner. And I printed it on vellum because I wanted the blush floral pattern to look to peek through. I just think that's the sweetest pattern. In my office, I have a like a, you know those jewelry containers, those bead containers that have all the little sections? I have one of those where I just throw a bunch of random stuff in that's left over from like scrapbook kits or collections. And so occasionally I will go over to that and see if there's anything in there that might work for a page. And I found that little ampersand, that wooden ampersand. I, I think it was made by Lawn Fawn several years, or not Lawn Fawn, Freckled Fawn several years ago. But honestly, I'm not even sure. I just was happy that I got to finally use it up. The, the light blue color looked cute there. And I like that the different texture of the wood is layered on top of the leaves and just rounds out that corner perfectly. I also added a white paper clip up to the best day phrase at the above the title. I like that because it feels like that best day uh, die cut is clipped on there and it just adds a bit of dimension up there. Now the last thing I'm doing as you can see here is I'm just adding some little banner die cuts down to the bottom right corner. Again this is a way to repeat that glitter paper pattern and that yellow pattern a third time or you know another place on the page and just it felt like it really rounded things out. So with that I am finished with the page. It feels great and it was so much fun to play with this collection. Again this is the Pink Fresh Studio flower market collection and I will link it in my description below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.